Hello everyone, my name is Sam or Casual Prince 8, and welcome back to Little Nightmares. If you missed the last episode, uh, go back and watch the full series because you're going to want to for uh, the purpose of these videos. God, I really messed that up. Anyway, last episode, we finished off the main game, which means we can finally move on to the DLCs, which are arguably better than the main game. Um, in these DLCs, we do not play as six, we play as a boy known as the Runaway Kid. I just call him RK for short, saves a lot of time. And we are going to be trying to escape as well, just like six. There are three DLCs, and we're going to play through them. It's as simple as that. One more thing. Uh, I mentioned at the end of the last episode that the background had lit up. Um, and at the start of my playthrough, it wasn't lit up. It's gone dark again now, so I'm, I'm convinced that's a glitch. Um, seeing as the same thing happened to me when I was about to record the final episode. But anyway... Let's go to the chapter selection menu, and let's get on to the first DLC, which is named The Depths, and it's very scary. So basically, these DLCs, as I told you guys in the last episode, are called Secrets of the Moor, and as the name suggests, it's going to give us secrets about the moor. So, um, <laughs> well... What do you know? Um, so I'm, I don't know if you guys have actually ever seen the chapter selection screen before, but it looks pretty cool. It's got these little boxes. So obviously this is the ladies' quarters. There is the dining hall, the kitchen, the janitor's lair, and the prison. However, if you see down below, there are three other levels. And we're going to be starting with this one. The Depths. And that right there is RK. So, let's get straight into this. Progress in the current chat will be reset. Are you sure? Yes, I am. Let's get into the Depths. I'm excited. It's been so long since I've played this. Um, and I can't wait. It's going to be amazing. Here we go. There's RK, we're swimming through water. We can actually move around a bit. Let's keep swimming. Oh no. No! No! Help me! It's okay, mate. Just a dream. Bet you all recognize this place, don't you? You hear that? Uh, push. Look down there. The janitor. And he is just captured. Another child who has tried to escape. So I believe we're one layer above where Six went into. Oh, I'm sorry. We can't help you. Uh, yeah, I believe the door that um, the janitor has just gone into um, is the nursery that Six went into. So I don't think this one is. It, it does have a door, but we can't open it. But you can see, um, there's, you can't see them very well, but there's other children sleeping in those beds. They don't look like very comfortable beds, I'll tell you that much, but, yeah. So, we've just seen the janitor recapture one of the children. Now, if it wasn't obvious already, 
uh, the fact that Noodle Arm still had his noodles attached to his shoulders tells us that this is set in the past. Or, the way these DLCs work, RK escaped around the same time as Six's journey was going on, so they're happening at about the same time. We're a little bit before Six at this point. But anyway, here's a picture of the moor. It's a very crude picture. It doesn't really look the same as that. Or maybe, actually, I think that might be one of the ships that the guests arrive on. That's interesting. But we drop down here. And there's a leech there. Now, I, I'm convinced we went in this room. Um, as six. So we're, we're beginning to backtrack now. There's a leech. Oh god, no, it's coming towards me. Let's not let it. And look down there, there's the eye. Let's get our sprint on. So this is our K. He is going to be our main man for this um, adventure. You've got to be careful here because I remember the last time... Um, I played this, I fell and, 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 and died. Which I think we have to go down here, perhaps. Uh, and jump. There we go. Right, so as you can see, there's no trolley um, protecting us from the eye of Sauron. Oh, that joke will never get old. I, I call it something else. The Eye of Freezing Us and Turning Us into a Statue. That was definitely not it, but that's going to be what we call it from now on. But as you can see, regardless, there is no trolley because Six used the trolley to get past this. So this is a little bit before. So Six is... I don't know where Six is currently. She's probably hiding in a suitcase. Oh, it's another child. It's a girl. Okay, no, 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 no. Don't go yet. Do you see that? She had a flashlight. I think we're good. Let's go. Run, run, run. Wait, come back. I'm an escaped child as well. I want to get out of here too. So we're literally backtracking the way we came in six. So, this is somewhat familiar so far. And the, the, um, power's been deactivated. So, that's interesting. Come back, friendo. Uh, through the bars, okay, through the bars. Oh, and there she is. Hello? She just used, um, she just used a bunch of rope to, uh, so she's the one that dropped the, the mattresses, the, the bedding, sort of Rapunzel-style rope that we used to climb back in here as six. Come on, drag that, RK. It seems just like six, RK has immense physical strength. Now, hold on. Can I? Hmm. How am I gonna get? Ooh. What's that? Can I? Hmm. Can I push it all the way over there? If you're wondering why I'm doing all of this, you can see there's a bottle of something in that sink. Oh! Look at that. Now, apparently that's something called Flotsam. Okay, that's vandalism. Um, I'm not, I'm not sure if Flotsam is actually a thing in real life or something. Um, but you, you saw RK reached in and pulled out a piece of paper. These are just collectibles. They don't 
amount to anything. It's just like hugging the gnomes in the main game. Um, but it does unlock like concept art and stuff, so that's cool. Right, let's get out of here, okay? And there she goes. And it forces our view back before we can see where she went. So, we saw the janitor walk along there in the main game. And now we know that this kid, this girl, is the one who left this mattress rope for us to climb. And let's get after her because you could use a friend in this unforgiving place. There we go. Let's go, mate. Get up there. Now, unfortunately, we can't go back any further because this door is sealed. And I don't believe I can pull this either. Now, this grate is open, so clearly she dropped down here. If you have a good memory, you'll remember that way back in the very first episode... I told you guys to pay attention to this room and remember this grate. This is why. I'll probably put in a clip um, of me saying that. Come back, friendo. Ah, there's a little grate here. Remember th this... I, I'm pretty sure it's this one. It might not be, actually. Let me quickly check. Yes, it's definitely that one. So... But this seems really random, but remember this grate, because it's going to be important later on. But this is why, because we're going down here. Is this a good idea? No. N no, it isn't. But we've literally got nowhere else to go, so... Alonzi. Ow. 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 Sploosh. We're not in Kansas anymore. I can tell you that much. I believe we need to go and grab this suitcase and bring it over, yes. So this is actually the first time in Little Nightmares that we're introduced to the concept of water. <laughs> Which is a really weird um, thing, considering the moor is a boat. But the main, the main idea of the depths is that this whole area is pretty much revolving around water. There's nothing over here, and clearly this girl broke down this wall. Oh dear. We now have the flashlight, but what happened to her? Let's, let's go back a sec, because I'm curious if the flashlight will let us see anything back here. See, now we have a light source, just like six. And it's arguably one that actually provides light. And isn't just used for lighting lanterns. But let's see, let's try and find out what happened. It's dark down here. Oh dear. Ink. It would seem as though she was taken by one of the leeches. Yep. You see, she w the footprints back there, they just sort of, they just end. They just, they just end. Unfortunately, my friends, I don't feel like that girl made it. I, it seems as though she was killed by the leeches, and that is very unfortunate, but we all know by now that the moor is a deeply unforgiving place. Oh god, there's more of them! Oh, and I forgot they can move, like, really fast in water. They are slidey boys. 
keep going, okay. Oh god. Oh Jump lad! Oh that is horrible. Imagine falling into that, you'd have no hope. It'd be all over you in seconds. Oh that's a, that's that's not a nice feeling. It's not a nice idea. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. What in God's green earth was that? That is what we're going to be facing for this uh, section because, unfortunately, we have much bigger problems than leeches in this place. You can see here there's like clothing or something. Now... I believe this is also sort of the section they use for the chapter selection preview, but uh... There's a very large expanse of water here and... Just keep swimming, okay. Keep swimming. The whole atmosphere of this place is just creepy because for most of the moor, like whether it be like the kitchens or the dining room, things were always sort of busy. You're always on the lookout. There was always like noise and stuff, but here it's just. Quiet. Way too quiet. And I hate it so much. Ugh. Well, if something didn't know we were here before, they certainly do now. Keep coming. There's something here. Okay, keep swimming, lad. Keep going. Oh! I'm not sure if you guys saw that there was a hand reaching up to grab us. We are not alone down here. In short, land safe, water very much not safe. I think we can just drop down here. Yes. Right. What's this? Oh, just a can. I believe we can do it. Ah, oh, sorry. Ugh. Get off of there. I believe I need to be a bit further away. Come on, get off the bloody... Oh, I think I have to chuck a can at them. Would make sense. There we go. Fortunately, they are a great deal of leeches and they can move rather fast in water, as we know. Come on, get up there, mate. Oh, okay, 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 we're good. They may be fast, but luckily they can't climb. Now, I didn't pick up on that the first time I played, but I'll, I was quiet for that section because there was just the sound effect of a gnome. So, we the, the whole thing about hugging gnomes isn't actually a part of the DLCs, but we just heard a gnome, and why would gnomes be down here? In, like, probably one of the 
darkest place, one of the darkest places on the entirety of the moor. Right. Now we must ascend, because I want to have as little contact with the water as humanly possible. That would be preferable. Now, what we need to do here is... That lever doesn't do anything yet. What we need to do is... Grab this lever. Turn on the power. See? We have light. And now, this is a puzzle. Pull this lever. And the water rises. Frankly, I really don't think that's a good thing. Because we know that whatever is after us thrives in water, but I think I filled it up just enough. Oh, and there's another flotsam in there. But I believe I've filled the water level too high to get it. Ah, I'm not bothered. Anyway, let's climb this ladder. And get the... Uh, uh, climb the ladder. Okay, it's over there. There we go, mate. Go through here, there we go. Now, this is just water. There's no puzzle, there's no, there's no nothing, there's... Yes, thank you for that. Okay, she's, she's there, she's literally in the water, she's like taunting us. Climb. From here, go to the sofa. She was right there, holy crap. From there, we can go to the box. Oh, she was right there. From there, we go to the barrels. Climb the barrels, mate. And from here. Oh my god, I forgot she could do that. Come on, you got to swim, okay, swim to the, to the box, to the box! Oh, she got us! Well, that was a weird death animation, it was like, it was like he was drowning, but he was above the surface. Oh dear. Well, um, that was... The granny. And she is the one that lurks down here. She is not the friendliest of people, as you can probably tell. We are full speed running now. Although I don't think we'll make it. No, she's right there. She's right there. I can't remember how we're supposed to do this. But according to the official description of the DLC, the granny was left to... She was abandoned, basically. No one actually knows who she is. There's very... There's, like, next to no law surrounding her. No one knows who she is or... How she ended up here. Oh, this is good. We've proper speedrun this. There we go. Speed and power. Yikes. Jeremy Clarkson would be proud. But yeah, no one knows who the, the granny is. 
why she was left here, who she was before. You may as well get this flotsam. Pop. Reach in there. Get that paper. It's like a scroll. Anyway, so from here, go on to these boxes, then we go over here to this box. And from here, we go on to this one, and then on to this one. Ha-ha! Finally. Okay, let's climb up here. Okay. You can climb over, you can climb up and jump off over there if you want to, okay? I'm not going to stop you. There we go. Uh. Wait, hold on. I want to test something. We're baiting the granny. You can't really see, but she's actually grabbing onto it. Right, uh, may we have it about there? Yeah, about. So that's a pile of that's a, a bag of dead children. There's a literal arm sticking out. Ah, little nightmares, morbid as ever. Oh, no, not quite that far. Okay. Uh. Okay. Now. Obviously, there is no physical way we're going to be able to make it over there, thank you, um, without the granny getting us. However, there is a conveniently placed bit of fish here, and we're actually going to bait her now. I was making a joke before, but we're actually going to do it. Go get it, granny! Swim, okay. Only by just a few seconds... That was way too close. Okay. I think we're safe. For now. Okay, guys. This is where we're going to end this episode. Oh, my God. <laughs> this, this is... This whole environment is horrible. Just because it's so quiet, and it, the only things down here are me, the leeches, and the granny. And it's horrible, and I love it. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below, and uh, subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. Um, yeah, that's all I've got to say, really. Uh, next time, hopefully, I'll be able to finish this DLC. I, I think these will be split into about two parts each, perhaps. Um, yeah. So, thanks a lot for watching, everyone. And I will see you on another video very, very soon. Goodbye, everyone.